this is the tenth time I'm directing Rigoletto. I've, I've done many Rigolettos. It's one of my favorite operas. But every time that I come back to it, I feel completely different. I, I feel that the piece is revealing facets that I've never noticed before. Only in the past few days, since we started rehearsals, the world has changed so profoundly with the violence in my homeland of Israel. And it's impossible for me to look at Rigoletto in the same way that I've always looked at it before. Everything is so monumental and so huge that that comes from the world of the Duke, of that he has such an authority and such a power looming over everybody. So when we have these big scenes with the Duke in the palace, everything is big and it's grand and it's overwhelming in all the best of ways. And then we have the more intimate scenes, it's still looming behind us that there is this authority over Rigoletto and over Gilda. So even though we're looking at very intimate scenes with them, there's always this structure behind them of a world that is looming over everything that they do. A big part of this storytelling is through masks. So we have our chorus men who have physical masks, and then we also have our carnies who have makeup. So a lot of the story is just about the person behind the mask and how our masks allow us to be a different person behind closed doors than the, than the people who are out on the street. And some people use these masks to not answer for their actions, whether they are good or bad. And the only person who really doesn't have any type, sort of mask is Jilda. And so Jilda is kind of lost in this world where everyone is, in a sense, phony, or the person that they are presenting is not their truest selves. And there is a form of deceit that every person in the show other than Jilda has, that Jilda ends up being the one who suffers the consequences for all of these people's actions. You know, Rigoletto is such a, a rich piece. And there's something so powerful about this society that is so vicious toward anybody that is an outsider in a world right now that is so violent and that has no acceptance of the other. Horror, <laughs>